Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I wanted to take the time. It, look, it is 1 o'clock in the a.m. I went to sleep at about 7.30, 8 o'clock last evening, and I woke up at 12. Been up for about an hour. Took the dogs out for a little walk. They didn't really have to go. They didn't really want to go. But I said, no, y'all got to go because I want to sleep in the morning. And then I went to check the computer. I want y'all to understand this. I thought it was 4 o'clock. Didn't know it was 12. I thought I literally went to sleep from 8 to 4 because it literally felt like I got full eight hours of sleep. Matter of fact, I'm not tired right now because I got rest last night. Now, many of you guys don't understand the difference between sleep and rest. REM state is rest. Hmm. So what I have going on is playing in the background in the bedroom right now is I listen to the Bible on tape. Well, it's actually on, I say tape because that shows you, that ages me. That shows you how old I is. Listen to the Bible on MP3. And it plays on my phone all night long. Now, here's the thing. Softly in the background. It's not loud. I'm not trying to wake the neighbors up with it. But I'm trying to take in the information subconsciously. And it has worked. I told you when I was in a coma and people were talking to me while I was in a coma, I remember what they said. Every single word. Can't tell you on what day they said it or what hour they said it. Because I was in a coma! But I can tell you what they said. I remember the voices. I still hear those voices. Mama, I see dead people. Anyway, um, ladies, gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, I got something I want to bring to your attention. I just told everybody about my getting an ID from someone, Don Kilom, and at nationaltravel.com and I did a video and I didn't look at his video because I don't usually have the time to look at other videos but I looked at it just a moment ago and I've been rolling <laughs> ever since I watched the video ladies and gentlemen I didn't know that he didn't want me to put the information out 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 there because I didn't hear that part I wasn't listening to that I just told him I was going to do it um so I apologize to him, and I'm going to take the video down. Yes, I'm going to take the video down. Why? Because he not wants to keep it on the down low, but he wants to keep it close to the hip. I get it. Okay, so that's going to be, as a matter of fact, hold on. Uh-oh, some of y'all going to be in trouble. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me make sure y'all understand. There's the video. Sorry for the wait. The order's on the go. Go to Eon and learn more. Okay, that's the video I just watched. See? Look at that. Look at that. I'm all the way there. So I was watching the video. I ain't lying. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and dear Draper, like I said, uh, get an M, uh, not an MP3, but um, a Bluetooth speaker. They're on Amazon. They're not that expensive. Bluetooth speaker. Connect it to your phone, and that way you can adjust the volume to how you want, and you'll be able to hear every word. I listen to my videos on a Bluetooth speaker. I can hear them just fine. So those of you who are saying that you can't really hear me on video, some of the videos, yeah, because, you know, adjusting the audio, and I'm using several different computers, and sometimes I forget to adjust it like it's supposed to be. So I'm sorry. But, <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, let me see, this is the video I was talking about. So what I'll do is I won't take it down, 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 down. Private. No, as a matter of fact, let's do an unlisted. So if you have the title, you can go watch it. Okay, but it's unlisted now. Hey, I just said unlisted. Didn't you just hear me say unlisted? Okay, look at that, it ain't listening to me. I said unlisted. Oh, because I gotta hit save. I didn't see that down. I, I told you I don't read ahead. I'm not joking when I say I don't read ahead. I really don't read ahead. I because I don't have time to read ahead. Reading ahead slows me down. So, with almost 600 of you watching, well, according to this, almost 600, we know it's more than that because Google plays with numbers. So I don't pay attention to these numbers. Okay, according to Google, the numbers are blah 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 blah. blah but who cares? All right. With that being said. Being up at this hour, ladies and gentlemen, I am processing some information. As I told you, 
with this video. Because I called about nine people last night, ladies and gentlemen. I found the code! Okay, that's what I called them to tell them. Ladies and gentlemen, anybody else would have kept that information in-house. Why? Do you know what you can do with that information? Now, I agree with Mr. Kilam. He says that if you take and listen to the information that I say on videos, when I say you can start your own companies, that you can become a millionaire. Individuals are perfecting that. I keep telling you, I have people who have started companies and have made hundreds of thousands of dollars in a couple of months. This is not, I am not marketing myself. I'm not marketing programs. I am not trying to tell you to go out there and become a millionaire. I'm trying to tell you that with the information, if you studied it, including the information on that code that I just gave you, you could become an aid to society. This is not about getting over. This is not trying to figure out how can I make more money? How can I make more ducats? This ain't about that. This is about doing business the right way. And if you did it the right way, you won't have to scheme. You could make just enough to not break even, but to get over a little hump. You won't be able to get over all the humps. Uh-uh, because Tuesday is today. Wednesday's hump day. We ain't there yet. So you won't be able to get over all the humps, but you will be able to get someplace. Now, Ladies and gentlemen, I there is something I do want to talk about. So if you will indulge me for about 10 minutes and then we're going to cut this video short. Not even 10 minutes. There is this situation in everybody's life where they look back at their past and they go, man, I can't believe I did that. And that's my life. I look back at my past and I don't recognize that individual. I, I tell people I would love to blame it on the fact that it was a couple of extraneous things going on, especially an experimental medication being used in an overdose. My family talk about my personality being changed. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you my word, and you know that I keep my word, but when I say I give you my word, I put that before the God that I serve, Jehovah. I don't recognize the person I used to be. I don't know who that was. Matter of fact, I promise you, I don't remember that person. Yes, I know mistakes I've made, but I don't remember. Why? I can't tell you that. All I can tell you for a fact that that was never me. And I have spent hours, days, months, years trying to understand that because it doesn't make sense to me. But I can't change it. You notice the one thing about the past, you can't do what Mrs. Uh, Cher said. You can't turn back time. You can't go back and change time. But I told everybody, my job is to continue to attempt as best I can to make up for stupidity. It's, that's not the reason why I do everything and don't care about funds. Because this day, I don't have an income, people. Do you, not, do you guys not get it? I'm not trying to be rich. I am not trying to be self-sustaining. I'm not trying to be free. And now, look, ladies and gentlemen, the system is not designed to set you free. You just need to understand it. Not now. Look. That's why the things that are taking place on this planet, that's why they're happening. Because they don't want y'all to be free. They want to keep you in control. Now, they know some of you are going to get a little bit irate and stupid. And they're preparing for that. They know they're going to be in a battle for guns. That's why they're putting the military where they're putting it. Didn't you guys listen to what we were saying in 2012, how they were redesigning and rebuilding the bridges? For the military equipment and how they were moving and stationing military equipment outside cities? They haven't stopped doing that. Yes, they delayed everything. We knew they were delaying because we saw it. We knew they were getting ready to do something in 2012 and all of a sudden, everything slowed down. Everything stopped. I told you these idiots are, yes, they're idiots because they somehow think their plan is going to work. They've already planned it all out. They already got every contingency factored in. The only problem is the God that I serve, they cannot outthink. 
Now, mind you, oh, wait, hold on. got to say, my stupidity in the past was not condoned by my God. My God did not approve of that. Okay, he doesn't approve of it now and didn't approve of it then. But the fact is, he knows that I've completely stepped away. Will never, ever do everything in my power to not even put myself anywhere near something like that. I don't even go anywhere close to stupidity anymore. Not on any level. Now, there are those who, I ain't watching his videos because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what rapper said it because it was a rapper that said it, but I simply don't give up whether you watch my videos or not. I'm, I'm not doing this to get your attention. I'm doing this for my people. See, my people understand that these videos are not about me. Okay? You got to go listen to Tupac to find out that it ain't all about you. Take the information. Do the research. Understand what's being said. You guys don't realize there are some of my people, my people, who go over my videos five or six times, taking notes, gaining a better understanding. Now, this is not enlightenment. I'm not trying to enlighten you. I am trying to uncover, remove, pull the lid off, so you can see that that emperor is sitting up there butt naked, trying to pretend that he ain't doing nothing kinky behind that curtain. That's what I'm doing. And some people are going, oh man, that's nasty. And that's exactly what I'm saying. Because shouldn't nobody be pulling your strings? Shouldn't nobody be putting no images before you to make you think that something else is going on when it ain't going on like it's supposed to be. I'm here to do what nobody else is doing. Now, mind you, because of these videos, you see a lot of other people demonstrating, showing you where they're getting their information from. Yay! Now, the ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gents, that comes from that young man, Mr. Lowry. Ben Lowry! Out of England. Why? Because that's how he introduced his videos. Now, he wasn't, he didn't know everything about the law, but he tried. And that's what I liked about him. Ben tried. Got in some trouble, but he tried. And I gave him credit for trying to help people because he was trying to show you what the law said. He was trying to show you where he was getting this information. Ladies and gentlemen, am I 100% accurate? Well, you saw I did the video where I talked about how uh, somebody said I was getting my information from this person, that person. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't look at other people's stuff. I promise you, I don't. Not Rob Ryder. I like Rob, ladies and gentlemen. I literally, I do like Rob. I'm not joking. Rob Ryder, that man is, that man is all right. And even Rob shows you where he's getting this information from. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I've always known about Rob. Rob will go over the code. He will go over the statute. He will go over the information. He will go over the documents. So Rob gets my credit. Okay. So there you have it. The reason why I do this is because, as I told you, when I was five years old, was I five? No, I was, that was the fourth grade. So I wasn't five. I was, I don't know how old you are in the fourth grade, but I was in the fourth grade. And so I was closer to 10, 11. And my teacher, Mrs. Greenberg, that was her name, Greenberg. Ms. Greenberg said, what do you want to be when you get older? What's your purpose in life? And I told her. The first question she asked us was, what was our purpose in life? Now, why would you ask that of a 10-year-old or a 9-year-old or an 8-year-old? What is your purpose in life? I told her, quite simply, my purpose is to help people. Guess what? My mother and father told me that. I'm not joking with you. When I say my mother and father literally told me that that was my purpose in life was to help people. I remember my father saying it to me, and it's not until this very moment that I remember them saying it to me as a child. Which is why I could tell her my purpose is to help people. And if my mother was still here, my mother would tell you that we've had many a conversations about that. I was just thinking about my mother yesterday, y'all. Thinking about that young lady, and I was saying to myself, that I wish she was still here because that's who I talk about this stuff with. But 
I believe in the resurrection, so I'll be able to speak to her again. But right now, like I told you yesterday, I have conversations with my God on a regular basis. <laughs> and I spoke with him yesterday. And see, to me, my God is real. No, my God is not a, a, a fantasy. It's just a fantasy. No, I'm sorry. My God is real. Because he calls himself the living God. All other gods <laughs> are creations of imaginations. Sticks, stones, bricks, other minerals from the earth. Go ahead. Look at all the gods of ancient past and look at how they were all statues. Oh, I made an image of a god and I worship it. What the flying? What the? How you gonna make your own god? Ladies and gentlemen, we make our own gods all the time. We make money a god. We make sex a god. We make religion a god. We even make knowledge a god there are people who spend nothing more than time learning more things paul speaks about them in the areopagus that was the grecians that was what they did the higher schools of learning everybody wants to learn more why ladies and gentlemen you don't need to learn about everything you don't need to know everything let leave that up to me i know everything but that's all that i know i don't know anything more than everything okay and I'm not trying to learn anything more than everything. What I'm trying to say is, you have the knowledge you're supposed to have. Not saying anything about fate, because there is no fate. Nuh -uh. There's only people saying that there's fate. Nobody can prove that there's fate. So stop saying it. If you can't prove it, you're on crack. If you believe something that you can't prove, well, you can't prove that God exists, I can definitely prove that God exists. Well, how are you going to prove God exists? Well, here's the thing. Everything, including a house, is constructed by someone. We know, scientists have already examined, they can prove that every design in nature, from the design of the spirals of flowers to the spiral of this universe, is designed by somebody. That this is ordered, not chaos. You don't get chaos out of order, ladies and gentlemen. You don't get order out of chaos. That's a man's thinking. But everything is completely organized. Ladies and gentlemen, the planets are round. Why? How come you don't see no square planets or triangular planets? There are all kinds of designs in the world. How come planets are round? Well, that's because of the wind shears. It's called solar winds, and they, they, they uh, over time, they shake. No, don't give me that. I said, how come they are round? There's a reason. How come the universe is spiral? There's a reason. How come the universe is constantly moving? Do you know what happens with water when it sits and sits and sits? Exactly. Is that possible with the universe that it's constantly moving so it doesn't get stagnant? Interesting, ain't it? So I do know for a fact that the universe was designed because all of the scientists who are smarter than you and smarter than me in most cases have documented that there is purpose. There is a, pay attention to the word because you heard it in the matrix, causation. Medivation, causation. There is a purpose and a cause. Nothing just came about because somebody said, Achoo! Okay? Nothing came about because somebody sneezed one morning. Y'all just need to recognize. And a lot of people don't want to recognize, and that's the problem. Y'all need to understand that everything that has existed, everything that does exist, has a purpose, including you. Including you. I know you don't want to believe you got a purpose. <laughs> blame you but here's the thing everybody says that i have knowledge ladies and gentlemen i don't have knowledge i just know what i know and, and literally that's just the point i i asked and i told some of you on video i said i was going to go another couple of minutes i apologize but i told some of you on video i said i asked my god because he has promised to bring about correction on this planet and that means a lot of people are going to die when you look at what jesus said his son he said, and there's going to be a great tribulation, which has not occurred since there was a world. 
and it says, nor will it occur again, meaning world of mankind. So, ladies and gentlemen, this time of trouble, but actually time of great, great trouble, says, if it were not on account of the chosen ones, no flesh would be saved. So just focus on the no flesh would be saved. There are almost 8, 000, 8 billion people on the planet. 8 billion. Billions would have to die in order for the statement, no flesh would be saved, to even have a bearing. It would be meaningless if only a couple hundred thousand people died. If you don't believe me, go back and look at how many people died of COVID. Nobody thinks the world's going in tomorrow. Look at how many people have died of COVID throughout the world, and nobody's thinking it's the end of the world. So the statement, no flesh would be saved, has no bearing on a statement like that. So it would have to be grave. I'm not saying this is going to happen. I'm saying there's a possibility. In Wuhan, China, let's do that while I'm here. Uh, Mr. Don, we're going to step away from you for now, just for a second. We're going to go to, come on now, give me my, it won't uh, give me my, what you call it, my ability to type. So we're going to go to Marburg, M-A-R-B-U-R-G. Marburg virus, there's even a documentary. And they call it a disease. We're going to do 2022. We're going to do 2022. Look, the next pandemic. Aw, that was two months ago. How could they say 2022 and it's two months ago? The year just started. This is day number four. Who gives clarification on the deadly Mogberg virus? What is Mogberg virus? You know what? Let's do this. And they say there's a treatment, general supportive therapy. And if you have any more questions, speak to your doctor today. I don't have any more questions. This one, the next pandemic, Marburg virus. Really? Aw, hold on. I, I don't know which one to pick. I'm going to choose the one minute and 17 second one because I think it's important. Marburg, a virus similar, similar to Ebola, Ebola has, shown has shown up in the African, in the African country, country of Uganda. Of Uganda. Health, officials Health officials are cons- I can. Wait a minute. It, it's in Africa? What? Yes, it is in Africa, ladies and gentlemen, not just in Uganda. It's also in New Guinea and Sierra Leone and so many other places. I don't think it's by mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, let's let her talk. Concern, there may be another another deadly deadly outbreak. outbreak. So what is Marburg? Marburg Marburg virus virus disease, disease, or MBD, MBD, was first first identified identified in 1967. 1967. According According to the WHO, WHO, it is a severe severe and highly fatal fatal disease disease caused by a virus virus from the same family family as the one that causes causes Ebola Ebola virus virus disease. disease. It is one of the most violent violent pathogens pathogens known to infect infect humans. humans. The illness illness begins begins abruptly. abruptly. The symptoms symptoms are similar to Ebola Ebola and include include severe severe headache and feeling ill. ill. Many Many patients develop develop severe severe hemorrhagic hemorrhagic manifestations. manifestations. Okay, hold on a second, ladies and gentlemen. I need you guys to pay attention. This is the same family of Ebola. And it's right now in Sion. X-I-A-N. X is in X-ray. I is in Ivan. A is in Albert. N is in Nancy. Exxon. Or Sion. See, they don't pronounce the X. The X and the I is C. Like, uh, I forgot the name of the uh, prime minister or president of China. But is C something, XI, blah, blah, blah. Ladies and gentlemen, this, and see, I don't know why I can never pronounce this word. I can, I I can pronounce it when I hear it, but I can't pronounce it when I'm not hearing it. Hold Between on. days Between five days and seven. seven. And fatal and cases fatal usually, cases have, usually some have some form of bleeding, form of bleeding. Often, often from multiple, from multiple sites. sites. Case, case fatality, fatality rates, rates have varied have greatly. Varied greatly. The Marburg, the Marburg virus, virus is, transmitted is transmitted by direct, by direct contact, contact with the blood, with blood body, fluids, body fluids, and tissues, and tissues of infected, of infected persons. persons. Transmission, Transmission of the Marburg, of the Marburg virus, virus also occurs, also occurs by, handling by handling ill or Ill dead or infected wild animals. wild animals. The treatment, the treatment is, usually is usually general, general supportive, supportive therapy. therapy. If you have, if you any, have more any more questions, questions speak to your speak doctor, to your doctor today. today. Thank you, young lady. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I know. I can tell you this for a fact. That I believe. How can you tell your belief is a fact? 
I believe, I believe that Marburg might be the foundation. I believe that Marburg might be the foundation of Ebola, the current Ebola strain, the one that's causing so much. Bill Gates warns that the next pandemic is coming, COVID-19, and how to stop it. Bill Gates! Everybody understands that individual right there. There is something definitely wrong with this man. They give him a lot of credit because he helped run Microsoft. Bill Gates did not run Microsoft. He did, he did not do anything spectacular in Microsoft. His business ethic was genius. Okay, you just have to understand that. He and the people at Microsoft did something genius. Now, everybody else is following suit. They went and they hired all of the people coming out of these universities who were the top in the class. The same as the military was doing, people. You remember when the military started doing that hiring, going and getting these stars and athletes and the, the NBA does it now? Well, Microsoft did that. They went and got the people, the best, the top people. And that's how they started Microsoft. Not because Bill Gates was the genius, but because Bill Gates and the people with him, his team, went and sought the geniuses in these colleges and universities. That's how they developed what they developed. So you give Bill Gates his credit for doing something like that. But y'all need to know. All you need to know about Marburg virus, deadly cousin that spreads like COVID-19. Uh-oh, that spreads like COVID-19. Uh-oh, all you need to know. Uh-oh, West Africa. Uh-oh. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is going on in China right now. Hold, hold on, so that y'all get it. C-H-I-N-A. Some of y'all watched the video that I did on this. Outlook, China's economy, 2022, the next pandemic. Nope, I think this might talk about it. Another mysterious disease has per whole Chinese city on, this was nine days ago. I think this is the video I did show, okay? The whole Chinese city, ladies and gentlemen, the whole Chinese city, 13 million people on lockdown can't leave their home. See, she, Habings, don't care about his addresses. Why don't, why, why, why we care about where he live? Ladies and gentlemen, why anybody care about where this month live on New Year's? I, I don't give up about his address. Who cares about where he lives? Oh, you're so stupid. Your mama's stupid. All right, let me do this for you. We're going to do this one, and then I'm going to get on out of here. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm in the background doing something, but I'm going to let that play. Oh, I'm on the other computer. Understand, in 2022, Ebola hasn't gone away. That's why I think it's intentional. Go back and look. Did you hear anything about Ebola in the 80s? Did you hear anything about Ebola in the 90s? Did you hear anything about Ebola in the early 2000s? No. Yes, there were some cases, but not like now. Since 2013, ladies and gentlemen, all you've been hearing about is Ebola, 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 Ebola. 
Now, it's been on a download for the last couple of years because they have not been highlighting it, but Africa has been seeing one spike in Ebola and one opportunity for Ebola and Ebola. But now Omicron, Omicron, this Grecian god is getting married with Ebola. At least that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to do an arranged marriage. Can you imagine if Ebola and Omicron came together? Omicron spreads, spreads like, man, gangrene. Ebola spreads like gangrene. Man, I promise you, this is going to get out of control. They think they got it under control. This is going to get out of control. And there's these idiots think that they're smart. They think that they can outdo this. They think that they can handle this. Interesting, huh? You guys need to know, they are a joke because they think that they can handle this. So I'm doing this so that you guys can be ready. You see, this, look at this. Oh, by the way, in China and uh, Beijing, when they have the Olympics, if you're not from there, you don't get to go there. You know what I'm saying? So that was two months ago. We don't care about the deadly Marburg virus. Uh, what What is all of this other junk right here? We're going to go here. This is nine days ago. I'm going to thank this young man for bringing this to our attention. Then I'm going to go ahead. I really am going to go ahead and discontinue this video at that point. Come on, young man. Go ahead and talk so we can move on. This is this November, is November 2019. 2019. There is a there strange is a disease, disease in the Chinese, in the Chinese city, of city of Wuhan. People kept People getting kept ill getting and, contracted, and the contracted the disease. The disease. Wait, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. He said November 2019. Okay, he says, okay, November 2019 because he's talking about COVID. I just wanted to make sure because I'm like, why is he talking about November 2019? That don't make no sense. 2019? I don't care about no 2019 November. But now I understand. Hold on. From one other. From one other. But, the but the Chinese authorities were like, were like no. no, no. These are just, These pneumonia, are just cases, pneumonia cases and everyone, everyone happened, happened to get pneumonia, to get pneumonia at, the same, at the, same the same time. The next thing, the you, next know, thing you know, the entire the world is in lockdown by March 2020. 2020. Billions across, Billions the, world across the world have been affected in one way or the other by the Wuhan virus, or what is officially called COVID-19. And now there's a new mysterious disease that has put a Chinese city in a complete lockdown. And it is not COVID. So are we going to live this pandemic saga? All, saga, over all over again. Hi and welcome. Hi, and You're watching TFI Global, Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical and analysis, analysis arm of the TFI, TFI Media Group. Group. I'm Siddharth, I'm Siddharth, your host, your in this, host video. In this video. I will tell you about tell something you about very something serious that the world that the needs, world to, know. needs to, know. to know. Another violent, Another violent disease, disease has put a certain Chinese city in a complete lockdown. Could it be the beginning of a new global nuisance? Well, let's find out. Chinese authorities, Chinese authorities are panicking, are panicking. and they have put they have 13, 13 million people million under a hard, hard and strict and lockdown strict in the northern Chinese Chinese city of Xi'an. There has been there a has sharp, been rise, sharp in rise in the number of COVID-19 cases, cases. And, even and even worse, a worse, recent, a recent outbreak, outbreak of epidemic, of epidemic hemorrhagic, hemorrhagic fever. fever. China, is, China paying is paying smart. The communist the nation says that, that it has imposed a tight lockdown and has imposed strict stay-at-home orders because it has zero COVID policy for the upcoming Winter Olympics in Beijing. But what is forcing China to keep 13 million people at home is a a new disease. New disease. RFA, spoke, RFA to spoke to Wang, a resident, a resident of Xi'an's Xi 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 New District. She said, Xi I'm Xi guessing Xi that the latest wave of cases in Xi'an must be higher than the original wave in Wuhan. The local resident also said that there are rumors that the city could be the next Wuhan. She added, No hemorrhagic fever was found in Wuhan in the early 2020, but Xi'an is now faced with a double epidemic. The local resident also said, Everyone in China is paying attention to Xi'an right now. Now, what is this hemorrhagic Fever. Fever. The CCP the controlled CCP media does agree does that, that there have been rising, been rising cases of the hemorrhagic fever, fever. But, it claims but it claims that the disease that is non-life non threatening. You know, you know, just like the just CCP like had CCP passed off coronavirus, coronavirus as seasonal pneumonia. pneumonia. Global, Times, Global Times, a Chinese, a Chinese, Chinese Communist, Communist Party mouthpiece, mouthpiece quoted a medical quoted staff a medical at Xi'an Hospital Xi as saying that a patient with non-life threatening hemorrhagic fever was admitted in the past few days. The CCP mouthpiece stated, hemorrhagic fever is a common infectious disease in northern China. It added, starting from October, October every, every year. Some areas Some of Shaanxi, areas of, Shanxi, of which Xi'an is, Xi is the provincial capital, capital enter the high incidence season of hemorrhagic, hemorrhagic fever. fever. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, the local residents, local residents stay, worried. stay worried. There is a virus
viral outbreak threatening their lives and then the lockdown is making their lives even tougher. Wong said. What I'm really worried about this time around is that we don't know how long this lockdown will go on for. There's the question of getting hold of supplies. Let me tell you something very honest. China is lying again. And to be brutally honest, if people in Xi'an or in China try to raise alarm, the CCP would kill them. When it comes to the non-life threatening label of hemorrhagic fever, even coronavirus was supposed to be a harmless disease that human beings could not transmit to one another. The next thing you know, the world could be talking about imposing lockdowns for spreading hemorrhagic fever. So yes, you got it right. This is something really scary happening in China. And even if it wasn't for hemorrhagic fever, the fact that the world has got physically integrated with China is in itself a very scary fact. Let me tell you why. China had never told its true COVID story. Even the initial outbreak in Wuhan is estimated to be at least two to three times more severe than a spate of pneumonia cases reported by the CCP officials. Later, China kept talking about a zero COVID policy, but the growing COVID-19 cases in populated provinces like Zhejiang, Liaoning, and Guangdong, as well as cities like Tianjin and Shanghai, tells a different story. Even when the CCP was pushing the everything under control narrative, lockdowns were being imposed in various parts of China. Even Chinese posts were jammed for several months, leading to massive economic loss for the communist nation that thrives on exports. Yet, it is not the Chinese economy that we are worried about. China is about to host the Beijing Winter Olympics, which, by the way, have not been boycotted despite gross human rights violations in Xinjiang and Chinese belligerents on all its frontiers. So, athletes and officials from all across the world will be participating in this event, staying in China and potentially exporting the virus to their host countries from China. China is on the cusp of giving us a new pandemic. It could be a hemorrhagic fever or any new variant of COVID-19. In any case, the world should prepare itself because China is out to put humanity in danger. I got to stop him right there because China's not doing this. China's not doing this. China's not locking down the city because they're trying to infect the world. If China was doing that, it would be sending those people to different countries. China's not doing this. Somebody is doing this to China. Just like in South Africa. South Africa is not the start and the home of Omicron. They were doing the right thing. They were letting the world know, hey guys, there's a new variant. We've just discovered it. When they did that, the rest of the world ostracized South Africa because so many countries, including the US, failed to update the rest of the world that there was a new variant out there. South Africa did the right thing, the rest of the countries did not. It was and has already been proven that the new outbreak started in these other countries first before it started in South Africa. Ain't that a shame? Ladies and gentlemen, I have been saying from the very beginning, even with Ebola, that two viruses were going to come together and they're going to call it a megavirus. And probably MV22 is what this is going to be known as, megavirus 22. I thought it was going to be 21, but hey, who knows? Megavirus 22. And it will get out of control. Now look, I can't tell you what to do. I'm not allowed. Sorry, I can't tell you what to do. I'm not allowed. I was only told what was getting ready to happen. That's why I could tell you, go look at my videos talking about what's about to happen. I was only told what's getting ready to happen for my benefit. I wasn't supposed to tell you. The understanding was even if I shouted it from the rooftops, nobody would listen. Look, Jeremiah went around telling the people, hey, y'all, <laughs> y'all got to straighten up. Y'all got to act right if you don't. And nobody listened to him. They even threw him in jail. Okay, go ahead. Look at Jeremiah's life. Telling the people. Twice I have been put aside, put in jail for not violating anybody's law, but to keep me from putting the information out there publicly while they put things in order. Especially that stupid uh, lawsuit with the banks. I just went and did a video yesterday and I show people some of the court cases that have my name on it, and one of them dealt specifically with the defrauded homeowners of America because I didn't like what they did, sitting up there getting a the settlement and not giving it to the people. Yeah, that, were, that bothered me greatly. So I filed a complaint. Oh, well. Now, look, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gents, I got to go because I'm going to go lay down. It's 141. I want to get a couple more hours of sleep because I only had four hours of sleep. So I don't want, because I'm on a sugar high, 
That's right. Sugar high. And because I've been drinking hot chocolate. And I know it's got aspartame. You can very seldom find any hot chocolate today without aspartame. But I just wanted to do some hot chocolate. Sorry. I'm going to have to have some rat poison with my hot chocolate. I, I know I understand. But in the mint's time, do your research, ladies and gentlemen. There's not a lot of stories out there, as you can see, talking about the Marburg virus. But again, China has locked down the city. They don't, China, the last time China locked down a city and it made national news was when the coronavirus took off. See, China cannot afford to have the whole Chinese population wiped out. That's why they would not do something like that. Everybody wants to blame it on China. They call it the Wuhan virus. Fine. They should have kept it as the Wuhan virus, but they didn't do that. The World Health, uh, the World Health Organization did not call it South Africa virus. They gave it a name. There are so many people like Mr. Trump. I said Mr. Okay. There are so many people like Mr. Trump that want to call it the China virus. The, China didn't do this, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, the United States had Omicron before South Africa. Pay attention. And they kept it to themselves. So everybody wants to blame China for keeping the COVID virus to itself and not locking things down. Well, the United States and several countries in the world had Omicron for several weeks and there were no lockdowns. There were only lockdowns against South Africa when South Africa said, hey guys, we just discovered this. More than likely, South Africa got it from one of these other countries that had it and didn't tell anybody. And that's why they were so pissed off. And now countries are gonna be discovering something and they're not gonna tell anybody. They're gonna keep it in house. And they're going to suffer just like the consequences everybody else is suffering right now. That's what they're going to suffer. They're going to say, well, they didn't tell it. They look at they they still thriving. They still moving along. Everybody, their economies are still going. So we're going to keep our economy going. We're going to keep our mouths shut. Y'all really need to be prepared. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got to end this because y'all know me. I can talk and talk and give you more and more thoughts on this stuff. But you really do need to pay attention. Okay. All right, I got to go. Peace, love, and hair grease. <laughs> oh, I was just um, talking to somebody, and we were doing the wusa, wusa. And after I said wusa, wusa, we ended up saying mama say, mama sama makusa. And we ended up, and just in the conversation, and I said, many people didn't even know what Michael Jackson was saying. Mama say, mama sama makusa. They didn't understand what was going on. They just thought he was just putting together some words because, you know, he couldn't talk right. Mama say, Mama say, don't go to that corner store. Mama say, don't talk to the man, blah, blah, blah. Mama say, there's a song, Mama say. And that's what he was making a play on when he said, Mama say, Mama say, Mama say, Mama say, Mama say, Mama say, Okay, that's what he was doing. Okay, that's why Martin Lawrence did it. Woo-sa, woo-sa, Mama say, Mama say, Mama say. That's why he did that in that movie. Okay, that's what I was trying, that's what we were talking about because it just was in conversation. And that happens a lot. So, ladies and gentlemen, go and look at, I promise you, the last 12, at least nine of the last 12 videos. If you want to learn something, if you want to figure out how to start some type of a company or business, go look at them. The information is right there. All you got to do is come up with a strategy. The information is there. And it's all free, free. The only thing it costs you is your time to understand. Now, you don't have a lot of time, but I told y'all, they're getting ready to do another lockdown here in America. You're going to need some way of generating some type of revenue. Tax credits! I mean, you're going to need some type of, ladies and gentlemen, y'all don't seem to understand. I, I'm going to do it again. I found the code! That video right there, ladies and gentlemen. That video. That video right there. Only 23 minutes. Study the code, people. Follow the yellow brick code and you will find the wizard. Follow the yellow brick code and you will find the wizard. Follow the code, ladies and gentlemen, understand. That's lawful money. That's why it works the way it works. That's why all the businesses are doing it. Well, all the successful businesses, that's what they're doing. Read the code. See how it says that's what businesses do. Lord has mercy. And he sure does, y'all. He sure does. I got to go. 45 minutes, y'all. 
45. Oh, God.